guys welcome back to my channel today I have an all-new recipe of maple glazed butternut squash let's get started what I have here is a medium-sized butternut squash I purchased mine from a local grocery store I tend to look for one that has no imperfections on the skin and is quite evenly colored First you want to remove the top from the bottom. This will provide a stable surface to begin peeling the butternut squash. I have received a recent tip that if you choose to microwave your butternut squash for just a few minutes before getting started, it does make it a little bit easier to peel the butternut squash. Once the top is removed from the bottom half of the butternut squash, you want to remove the stem area from the butternut squash. This way both the top and the bottom are flat and easier to work with. Next, you want to remove the pill from the butternut squash. Now, I tend to lay it flat and then just make a downward motion with the knife and the pill comes off quite easily. I have seen some people use vegetable pillars that tends to work out well if you're not comfortable using a knife. But also, a special quick tip is butternut squash tends to sell for the same price per pound for pre-cut butternut squash. So you can skip all of these steps by just buying pre-cut and diced butternut squash. Once the pill is removed, we are going to cut the butternut squash in medium sized cubes. You want to make sure that all of the cubes are about the same size so that they cook evenly when they're in the oven. Now we're going to transition to the bottom half of the butternut squash. This portion of the butternut squash does have seeds that we want to remove. These seeds are edible, so don't waste them. You can toast them up and serve them on top of the butternut squash or for a salty snack at a later time. Here I am removing the bottom of the butternut squash, the peel that just held on as we peeled it. Next, you want to remove the seeds. I'm just using a standard tablespoon and I'm just going around the perimeter of the seeds and the whole section of the seeds will come out, normally all at once. Just scrape it and it comes right out, super simple. Now we want to do the same thing we did to the top section of the butternut squash, which is to cut it in medium sized cubes. Also, please remember to make them the same size as the previous cube so that they cook evenly.
want to place our butternut squash cubes onto a lined sheet pan. Now your sheet pan can be lined with aluminum foil or silpat. It's up to you, whatever you have on hand. We are going to make sure that they're in a single layer and toss them with some oil. And I'm using about two tablespoons of oil, but use what you see necessary because each butternut squash is its own size. Next, you want to add two tablespoons of maple syrup. Finally, you want to season with salt and pepper to your liking. You want to make sure it's coated evenly and mix the butternut squash well with the oil, maple syrup, and the salt and pepper. Once mixed well, you want to bake in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes at the temperature of 400 degrees. Okay, so here's our finished product. I tend to top mine with dried cranberries for a tart taste as well as crispy pumpkin seeds. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. Please be sure to check out the other videos in my fall size playlist here on my channel. Thanks. Bye.